Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I was told to stand near the Yellow Cross. Um, my name is Tim. Uh, I represent Escort Monitoring Systems. It's a factory uh, that manufactures fuel level sensors, telematic sensors, and IoT devices. So from idea to concept to development and to mass production, we handle this all from 2004. Um, here we have uh, Eleonora Hamidulina, a uh, beautiful lady in a green dress. Uh, she is a representative uh, in Europe. And me, myself, expert manager from, uh, from Escort. So I would like to present you a case uh, that was brought to us by our partner from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, the company is called Wintrack. And a few words about this company. It's a relatively young um, a venture was founded in 2019, uh, but up to date they have 390 completed projects. Um, they specialize in fuel monitoring because it's a, um, it's a valuable asset. We all know fuel costs money, and it's a pretty simple thing to monitor uh, thanks, to, uh, thanks to these devices, which are the fuel level sensors. Um, it's a violent partner in Malaysia, as I mentioned. Uh, so, end customer came uh, to this uh, to this integrator uh, with a few issues, with a few problems. Um, obviously, the first one was that the ends didn't meet. Uh, the fuel budget was exceeded, uh, and somehow they ended up spending more money on fuel than they were originally intended to. Uh, major human factor. What does this mean? Most of the accounting was done uh, by pen and paper, if you wish. Uh, and uh, they suspected, uh, they suspected certain, um, uh, so certain coercion between the gas station attendant and the drivers to forge the checks. So the driver would fill up the, uh, the gas tank and uh, you know, along with the gas station attendant, they would be able to provide uh, the fake check to the, uh, to the fleet owner. Um, the vehicle's technical state wasn't properly monitored, so that ends up in excessive uh, wear and tear and uh, unnecessary uh, spendings on the, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the vehicle service. Uh, and obviously poor driver's discipline. Some drivers would just drive pedal to the metal, you know, fuel burning, uh, not as much useful job is performed. Uh, so the solution that was offered by uh, Wintrack to these guys was the installation of full telematic system with Violon software, uh, with uh, GPS trackers, I'm pretty sure there was Teltonica GPS trackers on this project, uh, and wireless fuel level sensor. Uh, so the installation of the sensor is pretty simple. As you can see on the left, it's installed on the tank. Looks like a hockey puck on the tank. Obviously, you have to make a hole, drill it, and put the sensor inside. No wiring is necessary because of the BLE transmission. Uh, and to the right is the process of calibration. Um, I probably shouldn't say this, but some of our customers, uh, they actually received up to 95-97% accuracy on the rectangular tanks without any fuel calibration, without any calibration, uh, like step-by-step -step calibration. These guys did a great job, um, as many other clients, and uh, they easily achieved 99.7, 99.5. Uh, we say it's 99% accuracy, but with proper calibration, it's quite possible. So what are the challenges overall? High fuel prices. This is no secret. Fuel prices are rising. For some regions, it's even worse than for others. Um, when we talk about um, Asia Pacific, um, somebody could correct me if I'm wrong. The fuel prices are pretty high, you know, compared to what people make and uh, how much they make in the transportation business. Uh, excessive idling. Well, drivers uh, are making deliveries. Uh, they wouldn't kill the engine, so the engine is uh, running, the fuel is burning, uh, while no useful work is being performed. Fuel theft. Very obvious, uh, not just siphoning fuel from the tank, as we some, some of us could imagine, uh, but most of the fuel theft that we um, recorded and got information from, uh, from the integrated partners was happening even before the fuel got into the fuel tank. On paper, um, sometimes uh, the accounting would be um, uh, like teaming up with, uh, with the drivers and uh, uh, writing off some fuel when the fuel was actually not in the fuel tank. Uh, and Last but not least, vehicle use for personal matters, personal deliveries, side jobs, and so on. Um, so that is why BLE systems by Escort fit perfectly for monitoring of the transportation vehicles. 
so how does it work? What do you see and what, uh, I mean, what, what do you get? What kind of results do you get? Um, as a matter of fact, may I ask you, do you see anything unusual in this violin graph? Can you tell me if there is a fuel theft or not? If you don't see it, I'll show it to you. There is a laser, ah, you, you, can, you cannot see, it doesn't work. Uh, but uh, on the right top uh, part, you see the fuel theft icon, which is uh, painted in red. Uh, and actually, you can calculate that approximately 50 liters of diesel was stolen, simply drained from the fuel tank. Uh, then the vehicle moved for a bit, and then obviously went to the gas station where they filled up 30, 40 liters. 40 liters. Uh, so this is the end product, what you get uh, when you can catch uh, bad guys, when you can catch the driver who steals the fuel. Uh, and this is the violent graph with the proper fuel consumption, no theft, good driver, no issues at all. Uh, so what benefits uh, the end user does get? Seven, five to seven liters um, was actually saved daily from each vehicle just by killing the idling. So uh, by uh, cutting the idling, uh, they were able to save this much. Overall, 30% in fuel savings, thanks to the elimination of the fuel theft. As we can see on the graph, it's obviously um, could be seen when, uh, when the fuel is being stolen from the fuel tank so that we could cut and we can catch the driver. Uh, improved driver's discipline, same as before. It comes, uh, one leads to another, uh, and at a certain point, uh, other drivers would understand that you can get fired or you can get sanctioned if you do something bad, if you don't maintain the proper state of the vehicle, and so on. Uh, and optimized vehicle tech service, because fuel overconsumption could also lead, uh, you know, show you th there are some other issues, maybe congested air filter, uh, any issues with the, fuel, uh, with the fuel system, and so on. So I'll keep it brief, I'll keep it sharp. Fuel is very simple matter. It just has to be monitored, it has to be counted as, uh, well, I mean, as anybody counts the money which is in the pocket or in the bank account, the same when we transfer money into the fuel, it's not really a spending. We don't really buy fuel just to buy fuel. You know, we buy fuel for, uh, for some other purposes, to make a delivery, uh, to, uh, you know, to transport some people and so on. So I would say this is it for today from us, and thank you for your professionalism. Our fellow integrators, thank you for coming here, and thank you for Gurtam, our gracious host, for inviting us to this event.